Hello everyone, Alex with Beam It Up here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Vesta system cabinet in AutoCAD MEP. If you're in the fire protection industry, you're used to it. It is a detection system, so we're going to create the geometry for it. And then we're going to add the connectors for your conduits and for your piping. So get ready and see you in AutoCAD. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click that bell, you get notifications, and then you don't miss any of our videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and over there you can contact me directly for some professional training. So the way we do this is we can start a P line, PL to start the command, snap here, here, then we do A for arch, and then we do L for a straight line, and we do A, then we do L for a straight line, A again for art, and L, and then A, and we're back to the end. So we're done. Now we can take everything else and just delete it. And now we want to extrude this up. So we want to extrude it 8.82 inches. So extrude. And now we say 8.82 inches. And now we need to add our cylinders here. So we can go back to top view. So let's start a cylinder, CYL. Let's give it a center right here, half inch of radius. And let's say for the height, just uh, an eighth of an inch. Now we can take our cylinder and just move it, let's say from here to, to here. And then we have a distance of 1.34. And this has to be away, let's say one eighth of an inch. It doesn't really matter too much. I just want to show you how to do it. And then it would be 1.34. How many do we have? Oh, we have two more. So 1.34. And the other one would be 2.68, I guess. So now we have these four cylinders and then we have two of those at the end and they're separated by 1.77 so so more or less here i would say and then the other one is 1.77 and that's pretty good it's looking pretty similar to this right now let's see how that's looking in 3d There you go. So it looks great. It looks very similar to this one. So let's create our MV part. For that we create a block first. So you can select this whole thing. Block. I call it Vesta Cabinet Space Model. Remember the space model, very important. Pick a point. My point's gonna be this midpoint right here. I'm gonna click OK. And now if I double click here, I see that that's my 3D model. Now let's go to Manage, Content Builder, and then under Fire Protection, we can add a new chapter. We can call it Detection. And then under detection, we can add a subchapter called Vesta. And then under Vesta, we add our new block part. We're going to call it Vesta EVEU. And for description, we can keep the same thing. And now the type, we can keep it as custom, layer key, I guess any fire 
MV general would do. If not, you create your own layer key. If you don't know how to do that, I can show you how to do it. Just click OK. And then subtype, let's call it Vesta. Vesta cabinet. Then we do next. We need to generate our blocks. OK, all our blocks are generated. Let's click next. Let's select our image. I had already downloaded it. So let's go next. And now we need to add our connectors. And this cabinet has two connectors for conduit and then four connectors for glued pipe. So let's go ahead and add our first conduit. So we go to add conduit connector. Let's call it C1. Let's add our second conduit connector. We're going to call it C2. And now let's add our pipes. This is going to be P1. Second one is going to be P2. P3. P4. We're keeping this pretty basic. You can have obviously the flow direction would be in, and uh, the system type would be fire protection. But this is completely irrelevant, really, in Out Academy P, because your pipe system is going to come out of your pipe system, and your layer key you already defined before, and you're not performing any calculation. So, what's the difference? So let's keep going. So we have C1 and C2 and then P1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's go ahead and edit the placement for the first one. So this is C1, so that's the conduit one. I'll do P4 positioning. This is my position. And it's, uh, let's say it's 0 0.75 inches, 0 0.75 inches. For connection type, I'm going to do compression. And then um, connector two, the position is going to be this one, center, 0 0.75, 0 0.75. The connection type is going to be compression as well. It's going to be compression as well. Let's go to connector three. The position is going to be this one right here and I'm only taking care of the position because the normal is already in the right orientation but if it was in the wrong orientation let's say it was like this right and you wanted to place it in the right orientation you simply type N for normal and then you make sure you have your ortho on and then you can click anywhere on the screen and then up and that way you give it the direction already so that's gonna be a pipe, uh, it's gonna be glued. And the connection diameter is gonna be 0 0.75, 0 0.75. So it is important that in this drawing, you have a glued, a pipe type already defined, a routing preference already defined that has this range. Because sometimes if you don't have that, the minimum pipe size could be like one inch or something like that and it wouldn't allow you to change to 0.75. So now we're fine, let's do P2. The position is gonna be this one right here. The normal direction is already good. So this is gonna be glued and it's 0 0.75 and 0 0.75. Then you click OK, 0 0.75, then P3, the position, it's this one right here, orientation is already good, glued, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, Finally, P4, 
the positions right here. It's going to be glued. It's going to be 0 0.75. 0.75 so now we're good we hit ok next finish just in case I'm going to do catalog regen let's go ahead and drop our part we had it under detection systems Vesta here it is Let's drop it at three feet, that's fine. And let's see, now we want to take our conduit out. Make sure it's working. Nice. Now let's make sure our pipe connectors are working fine. It's very important that you are on the right system. See, I changed it to F detection. If you don't have a system, create a system and then in the correct routing preference as well so you cannot be in flange or thread or anything like that you need to be in glued and, and then your pipe when you take it out then when you click your pipe you make sure that it's in the correct system F detection I right now don't have a layer key for detection because this is just a test uh, and then make sure that your routing preference is the one you want which is uh, glued CPVC so it's looking good actually I don't like this little thing here and so I think I'm just gonna leave it as none and that way it won't display like that so let me go ahead and change that I'm gonna pause the video so here I'm changing this from glued to none so make sure your pipe is in the correct system detection and that is in the correct routing preference so let's see how this works there you go looking really good And there you go and if you have enjoyed this video make sure you like it down there subscribe to the channel hit that bell so you get notified thank you for watching and see you on the next video